Welcome back. We are here on eToro, and this is going to be my daily forecast for the commodities market, the precious metals market uh, for Friday, uh, October 23rd uh, in 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button. That really helps this um, channel grow and hit the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied quite nicely in the US dollar index. We are, if you look at the technical indicators, they are all looking uh, much more positive than they did yesterday. We have had the uh, four consecutive um, days of basically decline in the US dollar index. And now we're basically uh, appreciating it again. And you can see that the CCI is also has completely turned around and now is heading to the upside in Kenyan uh, bullish momentum. So is the uh, stochastic is about to cross the signal line, is still flat a little bit, and the MACD is not ready to turn around. This is not really an indication that will break the 50 moving average. We are far away from the 50 moving average, and that will most likely be significant uh, resistant when we get there. However, if we break the 50 moving average, and then we'll go to these highs of 93.83, uh, 80, and then beyond that. If we break below here, uh, below this, um, uh, this candlestick, then we'll go much lower. We'll go down to uh, 92.11, and then towards 91.76. And if that breaks, then of course we'll go much lower. So this has uh, quite an uh, enormous effect on commodities. There's a negative correlation between the US dollar index and commodities. And therefore, when this rises, then uh, most commodities and also precious metals, uh, they tend to um, uh, then to fall in value uh, subsequently. However, if you look at gold, not gold, I mean uh, with oil, we have rally today. We had a... Uh, very big fall yesterday of over 4%. Today we're rallying, we are testing the 50 moving average, and it looks like the 50 moving average is holding. This could be a sign that if the 50 moving average holds and we're not um, successful at basically breaking it, that we can go much lower towards the 200 moving average at $38. The technical indicators for, uh, for oil are looking uh, significantly more bearish. Uh, we can see that the MACD is about to cross the signal line. The stochastic has to cross has crossed the signal line, and the CCI is basically also showing uh, signs of um, of the bearishness. We are not oversold, not overbought, so there is a lot of room to the downside. I have no interest in basically buying this because demand for gold just continue seeing gold demand for oil is just isn't out there there um, so as long as that is the case there is basically only way one way this market will go and that is down nobody says that it will completely collapse like it did in uh, february march and april however i do believe that within a few weeks we will go and retest these lows at 30 uh, 36 dollars so we are trading within $43 and the lows of $36. And at the moment, we are right in the middle. And we've been here for the majority of the time. We can go all the way back to where is this? Is This is the beginning of June when we started within this channel and we have not broken this channel. We have technically been trading sideways within that channel. But within time, I do believe we break this bottom and we also go lower to $30. So you look at natural gas. We can see that we rallied yesterday and today we tried to rally above the, uh, the wicks of the yesterday, but we have broken down at the moment. We are just right here, uh, not doing particularly anything. This market is overbought. The, uh, the RSI is above 70, so just have that in mind. And the CCI has turned around. It is looking, making signs that it is about to turn around. And that could be a disastrous for this market. It can basically collapse similar to this towards the 50 moving average. There is no reason and no expectation that it will break the 50 moving average. 
but a fall back towards a 50 moving average is a, a buying opportunity for those who basically want um, to buy natural gas. This is not a good buying opportunity because it may fall from here as we are overbought and the, trim, the indicators are pointing to lower levels. Both the stochastic, the CCI and the MACD is about to turn around as well. And uh, the reason is that we're basically overstretched. It's not that uh, natural gas won't go higher, it's that just we got way ahead of ourselves and we need to pull back in order to go higher. No interest in basically shorting this. Um, uh, if you want to, to enter this market, wait until it basically gets close to the 50 moving average in order to enter this market. So if we look at copper, so copper has pulled back quite significantly, as I was pointing out uh, in yesterday's video. We got way ahead of ourselves. There's no reason for copper to basically rally uh, to these highs. I was expecting copper to basically break towards the 200 moving average. And the main reason is the world economy, basically the demand in the world economy. Um, similar to, to, uh, to oil, uh, when production is high, you need a lot of copper, you need a lot of oil. Uh, but production is not high at this point and therefore there's no reason for copper to rally to the levels of 2018 um, because we are not in 2018 territory not even close so i do believe that we'll head towards the 50 moving average again um, don't expect it to break uh, straight away but i do believe that we'll head at eventually to 2.6 uh, within the, the next few months Technical indicators for copper are looking um, much worse at this point, especially the CCI has turned around completely. It was uh, signaling that it was basically overbought and overstretched, and now it's turned around. And usually what happens if you see something like this, you basically have uh, three, four trading days where we basically fall towards the 50 moving average. So candlestick here, green candlestick, red candlestick, all the way towards the 50 moving average. No interest in basically buying this. As I said, I just don't think that this is going to high, go higher because there is just isn't that demand for it. I do expect us to go significantly lower within time. If we break the 50 moving average, then we go and test these uh, lows of uh, 2.8 and then all the, word, all the way towards the 200 moving average. So if you look at gold, as expected, it did not manage to break the 50 moving average. We are we uh, pull have pulled back significantly today. We are down nearly two percent. Uh, and you can look at the technical indicators; they are all looking very bearish for gold. This may be the signal that we have been waiting for. We have been trading in a big fall down or a uh, pullback, then traded sideways, then big pullback, trading sideways. Now we can basically expect a big pullback again, trade sideways before we go higher from here. Um, it is we um, will expect uh, buyers to come in at the eighteen hundred and fifty, especially, and of course also eighteen hundred. Uh, this should be massive support. Also, we have the two hundred moving average underneath. Whether or not we get to under eight hundred is, um, uh, I doubt it. But this will probably be the best uh, um, entry point for a very long hold for gold. Because in the long run, uh, for probably several years from now, uh, gold will be bullish due to the fact that in order to get the world economy back to get, going again, you will have to have uh, massive stimulus bills, uh, a lot of uh, spending and, and so on. So, and you need... Um, uh, aggressive monetary policy which will just <clears throat> sorry increase the value of gold so if we were to break um, uh, above the 50 moving average we will still find a lot of resistance above here we tried to so many weeks to break above this area in order to get to 2.1 or 200 through the 2100 we did not manage that we broke down we traded sideways and i do believe that we will continue breaking down as the indicators are showing, we are most likely going much lower from here. Uh, furthermore, due to the appreciation of the US dollar index, of 
course, that also drags this market lower. So if you look at silver, we're similar here in silver. We didn't get close to the 50 moving average, even though we got if we got back to the 50 moving average, we would still see a pullback from the 50 moving average. Uh, similar to gold, there is just a lot of resistance just above the 50 moving average. You can see just how long we stayed uh, in within this area. So the pattern of, of silver is very similar to the pattern of gold. We have a big decline in the value of silver, trading sideways, big decline, trading sideways. And I do believe we'll have a third decline and trade sideways before we go higher from here. Technical indicators are all looking really bearish at this point. Both the MACD, uh, the Stochastic, the CCI, and the uh, RSI are all pointing to lower levels. So the first resistant area, uh, support area will be at 22.78. Um, after that, we most likely will go towards the 20, um, 20 dollar range, and underneath that, we of course have the 200 moving average. I don't expect us to get that uh, far down, but entry point at 20 dollars, um, at 20, is um, is probably the ultimate um, uh, area to enter this market for a buy. No interest basically selling this because in the long run, it will most likely go higher. So Kokoa. So we have rallied up towards the 200 moving average as expected, but we have pulled back, which also was expected. Um, we will probably see this market uh, test the, we are testing now the 200 moving average, but we most likely also test the 50 moving average. And that will be the indication whether or not we are ready to go significantly higher in this market. We are trading within a range of the highest here of the 2.7 7 and the lows of 2.0. So we are basically in mid range. We have been stuck in this area here for quite some time. And one of the main reasons why we have been stuck in this, uh, this area is because it previous was significant support. We were in this area in the past as well, and we fell down here, found support, and then rallied towards the 200 moving average. Now, if we have a pullback from here, we'll most likely retest this area again. We need to break this area in order to go lower. And if that is the case, then we'll most likely go to these very lows. If you break above the 50 moving average, then that is an indication that we'll go and test the, these highs. Indicators for, for COA are very bullish at this point. RSI, CCI, the Stochastic, and MACD are all pointing to higher levels. So we will most likely test the 50 moving average and uh, we'll see whether or not we manage to break that. So we look at Platinum. Platinum still trading in between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. We have a massive pullback of all, over 3% today and um, we are finding support again at the 200 moving average. So of course, we cannot stay within this range forever. At some point, both the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average will uh, intercept and we will uh, either go to the upside or otherwise we'll go to the downside. But at this point, we are stuck within those two moving averages. Um, I don't favor the downside just because there's just so much uh, support underneath. And therefore, I do believe that we are going to go higher within this market when it, uh, when it comes to that. A break above the 50 moving average opens the door to uh, 935 and then to 976 and then to the 1000 here. Um, a break uh, below the 200 moving average, then of course we have to test this area and we also have to test this area in order to get to these very lows. So if you look at sugar, So sugar has rallied yet again. We are significantly overstretched in this market. We are at 73 at this point. The same goes for the CCI, but uh, the MACD and the stochastic are starting to to um, to weaken. It's we do rally, but it is not this kind of rally. We pull back, gain a little bit, pull back, gain a little bit. At some point, I do believe that we'll basically just 
uh, collapse towards the 50 moving average. If we go higher from here, we of course will find a little bit of uh, resistance in this area at 0 0.1499 and then to the all the high zero at 0 0.1580. A fallback towards the 50 moving average is basically a buying opportunity. There's no reason to enter this market now. There is too much risk in entering this because it can fall at any point. We are very overstretched and we need a basically a pullback before we go higher. So last but not least, it's wheat. We can see that we are starting to pull back. We have reached this, uh, the top of this, uh, the candlestick there's 637. Uh, and now we are basically pulling back. And what I do expect here is that we'll pull back um, towards the 50 moving average. And the first resistance that we may find, if you look at the Fibonacci, is around this area here at the 582. Um, I don't expect this market to go lower than this. If it does, it will run into the 50 moving average and also the 50% 50, uh, 50 Fibonacci retracement, and that is highly unlikely. The 50 moving average is going to uh, follow this trend and probably meet up with this uh, price fall at around 700 and, uh, 579. No interest basically shorting this. This is basically just wait for the dip in order to uh, uh, to enter this market because we are in uptrend and uh, as long as that is the case, then there's no reason to basically short the trend, the downtrend, uh, the uptrend, I mean. Technical indicators are looking quite bearish at this point and the reason for that is because we are very overstretched. We need to pull back in order to go higher. So... Hopefully you find this video helpful. You're welcome to hit the subscribe button by clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and um, thank you very much.